It is a great pleasure to introduce a special woman who so artfully blended her curiosity about human differences from the view of a biologist with her deep faith as a Christian in seeking life's truths. Her curiosity began very early in her life with thoughts about why human differences exist, leading to her vast accomplishments in human genetics. She asked simple questions such as, why do some people get sick and others do not? Georgia M. Dunstan is a professor emerita and former chair of the Department of Microbiology at Howard University and founding director of the National Human Genome Center at Howard. In addition to her exceptional work at NIH and Howard University, she has an unbelievable talent for creating opportunities for people to think, work together with scientists and bringing multicultural perspectives and resources to an understanding of knowledge gained from research on human genome variation. Thank you, Dr. Dunstan, for your sensitive, intelligent, and thoughtful approach to science and faith. Growing up in the 50s and 60s in the segregated South, I had questions as a child about who I am and why I have the characteristics that I have. My sources of information centered around church, home, and school. I became a friend of faith through my seeking answers to my questions from the church. I became a friend of science, seeking answers to my questions from school. I asked my mom, why God made me the way he made me? Why God made me a, a girl? Why God made me colored? Why God gave me short kinky hair? It seemed like the preferred and the good things were the opposite of what I had. It looked like God loved some of his children better than others. So the question, how do the differences in his children reflect his love the same for all of us was a burning question for me. My mom, in sheer asper, exasperation one day told me, Georgia May, you ask God, ask God why he made you the way he, you ask God all the questions you have about who you are. And I have, and I believe that it's not coincidental that my path in academics has been a continuing seeking of answers to my questions about identity, all the way from early school to postgraduate. When I went to the NIH, I met Francis Collins, who had just come to the NIH to head the Human Genome Project, and I learned about this genome that contains answers to questions about identity, who we are, and why populations and people are different. Ah, an answer. May answers in the genome made by the creator, the genome made by the one who made me, getting answers. So now my science interface with my questions in asking how do the differences in individuals reflect the love of God for his children all the same?